two very well put together athletes in action now. It is Anthony Katina in the red tights and in the camo it's the Devil Dog Dustin Mosley. Another couple of debuts here along with the debut exact tops by my side. <laughs> Certainly going to be a, a physical encounter when you got this much beef in the ring at once. You are not wrong Joe Dabrowski. I mean look, I mean look at the physiques on these two gentlemen. Very evenly matched it seems. Katina though looks like he's carved out of stone. Yeah speaking of beef you think back Whoa. to the Windy City Classic Big Beef Gnarls Garvin in his very first AAW main event. The fight he gave to Jake something. What a story it was to see Gnarls Garvin grow from, I mean, basically within a span of, of what, six or eight months from the opening few matches to the main event. What a groundswell of support he's gotten throughout 2022. Absolutely. It seemed almost overnight, as you mentioned, but the performance he was able to put on in that short of time, really spectacular. And you can see why the AEW fans really like it. Dustin Mosley gets a near fall, spent eight years in the Marines. Hence the nickname, I imagine. Yeah, he uh, calls himself the Devil Dog, as you mentioned. He's trained in MMA as well as boxing and uh, feels that uh, he's uh, superior to the rest of us because he's the backbone of this country. And we'll see if that comes to <laughs> fruition here. Hey, listen, thank you for your service. We appreciate everything you've done. I'm not going to look down on that or change it. But bottom line is it's an entirely different type of combat. There's a cover here, deep hook of the leg. Uh, Katina comes in with a great pedigree as well. I mean, he has studied under the likes of Al Snow, Dr. Tom Pritchard, and he's Heard second generation as well because is he? Uh, both of his parents, he being Anthony Katina, wrestled in the world famous Sportatorium in Dallas, Texas. Wow, I was gonna say Highland Park is suburban Dallas. Yeah. Oh man, what a spine buster. They head back to Highland Two. Park with an L. Oh, wow. Highland Park, Texas, uh, also I believe the home of the late great Gino Hernandez. Really? Yeah, this, this kid is, uh, he's 26, he's six foot four, but he finds himself in a chin lock now. Let's not overlook uh, Mosley, 6'3", 225, only a couple of years in the game, but shows great poise and timing for his youth. You're absolutely right, and certainly a lot of aggression. Looking to take command of the situation here, but Katina trying to break free, but not able to create the space, and right back to that chin lock. Well, Katina's got to find a way to adapt here in a defensive position. Ooh. Ooh. And he does that, <laughs> and again, as if you're from your mouth to his ears. Well, two times state amateur wrestling champion in high school, uh, state champion in Taekwondo as well. Wow. So uh, Katina knows how to hurt you in a variety of different ways. He just needs the opening. He needs the space. Whoop. And with this, it comes opportunity. Cover. High cross body, but not enough. I thought that might have been it. Mosley doesn't look like he knows where he is. Certainly Katina opening up and really knocking the sense out of his opponent. Yeah. Big back elbow, goodness gracious. Oh, and a kip up. Tell you what, this size and this speed and this intensity reminds me a little bit of the walking weapon Josh Alexander. Ooh. We'll see him December 30th at LegacyHighSpots.tv. Certainly, uh, these men have a ways to go before they uh, capture that same legacy of Mr. Alexander. But a good first step here, Katina, great agility, but cut off at the pass. Indeed. Mosley jumping up and, and knocking him down to the top turnbuckle, now into a suplex position. On walking around with him. Straight up power, is that gonna be enough? Wow. Wow. Three minutes. 50 seconds, your winner, Devil Dog.